hi guys to make a slideshow presentation on canva using your mobile phone is actually easy so let's go into it once you launch your canva app you come over to the search bar up here and type in the document type you want to be working with so in this case you're working with presentation document type or you might call it template so let's search for presentation here you go you can describe what type of presentation you want to make or you can just go over the general presentation and when it comes up you can pick it up so we'll be picking just general presentation here we can filter the search use filter to select what category of presentation you want to make or you could just go over by scrolling 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 to see what you like just going over everything but if you have a particular type of style of presentation you want to make you can just pick it up so i'm just going to pick a random template here from these presentations we've been given i'm going to be using the free template i'm not going to be using the paid template because the one you see that has a pro is a paid template so let's pick this business project template let's click on it it's free yeah so this business project template has opened if you scroll down here you will see all the pages it has so this one has 14 pages so you can as well add pages as you work on it or you can delete pages depending on what you want to work with but for you to edit you have to pick each page and edit it so want to edit page two you pick page two and edit you can either use this down bar here or you could just scroll this way let's say we want to change this to something else you can decide if you have a logo you want to install you can decide to change it you can decide to change colors of elements let's change this to be this color you can also decide to change the background color you can also replace pictures this picture if you click on delete you will see that it's a frame and there's an image inside of it let's go back so you can decide to click on it and click replace to add images from your gallery if you look down at your screen or from uploads photos or videos depending on what you want to add on that page or you can just come over here pick any other picture from elements you can search what pictures you're looking for say you're looking for canvas click on photos to see what you want to use yeah i kind of like this i'm going to click on this it's free and i'm going to drag it and drop it in you see that i can decide since it's this way i can decide to flip the picture so let me double click the picture and let's flip it rotate well let's see no let's rotate this way this way this way this way yeah let's drag that in let's drag this in let's shift it yeah done so we've changed the picture we might decide to change the color of the background if you see the color is a dark blue background i decide to change it to what color goes with this oh it looks crazy no no undo that let's go to the color let's use color picker to pick a color let's just go here what color do we want to use or anywhere on our screen we want to use this color so let's just pick this color done you see that's really changed the look of the background so once you're done with that page you move over to the next page you can change the text you can move things around just double click you will see click it will highlight the elements you want to work on this is it you can move things around change colors you can make this color your team color and duplicate it across all pages so if you look here let's click on seven you can just 
change the text depending on what you if you like the design you can change it or if you want to move things around fine if you want to move page six to become page two you can just drag it and look at where it's dropping it's in page four let's drag again let's leave it in page two yeah so you see you can move pages around you can click on a particular page and you delete it once you're done with the look of your presentation you can now go to this arrow up here to export your file so you click on download you're going to see the file types so it's suggesting that we download in pdf standard but if you scroll open it you can see that you can download as microsoft powerpoint documents you can download it as pdf print file you can download it as even mp4 video file depending on what file type you want to export it on you can do it with that i hope this answers your questions if you have more questions that wasn't answered in this video please leave it in the comment section thank you so much for watching